rapid revision of ophthalmology most important 100 containers series 1 a 35 year old man complains of vision distortion increasing progressively in both the meridians on wearing his spectacles it is anisoconia and it is due to wearing of cylindrical glasses and it is due to asymmetrical convex lenses in the both eyes in regmatogenous retinal detachment there is abnormal pull on the retina due to changes in the vitreous anterior extent is up to ora serrata and management is usually surgical brimonidin mechanism of action is decreased aqueous formation salt and pepper retinopathy is observed after healing of the macular edema calcification is seen in retinoblastoma choroidal osteoma and optic nerve head drusen this is important calcification is seen in retinoblastoma choroidal osteoma and optic nerve head drusen variable range tonometer is rebound tonometer ciliary muscles are embryologically derived from neuroectoderm most common complication after lens extraction in persistent hyperplastic primary is vitreous retinal detachment i'll repeat most common complication after lens extraction in persistent hyperplastic primary is vitreous retinal detachment protozoan affecting the eye is toxoplasma okay olaptide in methyl cellulose and chloram phenicol are given in a uh, corneal ulcer as eye drops so they will ask which are given as eye drops in corneal ulcer so you have to answer olaptide in uh, methyl cellulose and chloram phenicol retinitis pigmentosa is a feature of refsum's disease narp and a beta lipoproteinemia a 12 year old presenting with painless sudden loss of vision but ocular and systemic examination is not contributory diagnosis is eels disease stalker's line is seen in perigeum a man presents with iron foreign body in the eye best investigation to monitor the vision is serial electroretinogram substance strongly implicated as a cause of corneal edema under hypoxic conditions is lactate the development of subretinal demarcation line in the retina is indicative of long standing retinal detachment optic atrophy is seen in retinitis pigmentosa okay methanol poisoning and ca cr avo that is central retinal artery occlusion band shaped keratopathy is formed due to deposition of calcium cells most commonly affected in glaucomatous optic atrophy are ganglion cells ionic pump in corneal endothelium is necessary for maintaining detrusions detrusions of the cornea and thus transparency it can be blocked by inhibition of anaerobic glycolysis safe strategy is used for trichotoma microaneurysms are the earliest manifestation of diabetic retinopathy layer of retina involved in diabetic retinopathy is outer plexiform layer most common malignant tumor finding is basal cell carcinoma blow fracture of the orbit leads to fracture of posterior medial floor of the orbit sclera is the thinnest at posterior to the attachment of superior rectus i repeat sclera is thinnest at posterior to the attachment of superior rectus this is important adult male with restriction of eye movements in all directions and moderate ptosis but no diplopia or squint diagnosis is chronic progressive external ophthalmoplegia aniridia is associated with nephroblastoma nemo retino exi in an outpatient procedure in which retinal detachment is sealed with air insufflation so what is nemo retinopexy retinopexy is a outpatient procedure in which retinal detachment is sealed with air insufflation a diagnosis of fungal corneal ulcer is not made if there is presence of marked photophobia and pain compared to the signs in a district hospital in india an ophthalmologist is expected to perform uh, what surgery most commonly it is phaco emulsification a 50 year 55 year old diabetic patient presents with unilateral transient obscuration for 2 to 3 days followed by sudden diminution of vision next done is serum homocysteine level headache with bitemporal hemianopia with 6 by 6 vision is seen in chiasmal lesion free radical scavengers in lens are vitamin c vitamin e and catalase highest refractive index is seen in center of the lens mucopolysaccharide hyaluronic acid is present in vitreous humor ipsilateral third nerve palsy with pupillary sparing is seen in diabetes mellitus gas used in nemo retinopexy is sulfur hexafluoride cells affected in glaucomatous optic neuropathy are ganglion cells A patient presents with diplopia with limitation of uh, adduction in the left eye and abducting saccades in the right eye. Convergence is preserved. 
causes internuclear ophthalmoplegia. A 20 year old female presents with proptosis and abdosis no palsy. An MRI scan hyper intense lesion was seen on T2 weighted images which showed intense homogeneous contracts uh, enhancement. What is the diagnosis? It is schwannoma. I repeat the question again. A 20 year old female presents with proptosis and abducent nerve palsy that is sixth nerve palsy on MRI scan hyper intense lesion was seen on T2 weighted images that showed intense homogeneous contrast enhancement what is the diagnosis it is schwannoma features of Horner syndrome are ptosis and meiosis in ipsilateral eye and hydrosis of ipsilateral face and heterochromia iridis inclusion of sorry inclusion conjunctivitis is caused by chlamydia trichomatis Corneal transparency is maintained by relative dehydration, unmelanated, uh, unmelanated nerve fibers and uniform spacing of the collagen fibers. Dangerous zone of the eye in ciliary body. Um, left sided sixth nerve palsy would lead to diplopia in the left gaze. Most common cause of fracture of roof orbit is blow on the forehead. A young man with blurring of vision in the right eye followed by the left eye after 3 months showing disc hyperemia, edema, circumpapillary telangiectasia. With normal pupillary response with centrosecal scotum on the perimetry. Cause is Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. Anteroposterior stability of the eyeball is provided by superior oblique, superior adolescent, orbital fat. A 30 year old male patient presenting with history of recurrent headaches on fundus examination, generalized arterial attenuation, multiple cotton wool spots, and flame shaped hemorrhages in the both eye are seen. Diagnosis is hypertensive retinopathy. The most common retroorbital. Mass in adults is cavernous hemangioma. This is with autosomal dominant inheritance is best disease. A 40 year old male patient with diabetes presents with vitreous hemorrhage causes neovascularization at the disc. A young patient uh, presents with diminished vision. On examination he has anterior vitreitis, focal necrotizing granuloma, macular spot. What is the diagnosis? It is ocular toxoplasmosis. Baby born prematurely at 29 weeks of examination at 42 weeks with ROP both eyes show stage 2 zone 1 plus disease. Management is laser photocoagulation of the both eyes. Uh, some one liners which uh, have clinical scenarios it is very difficult to grasp the point or concept at single go. So you can just pause or just finish the video in 15 minutes and again listen to them. Repeatedly listen, listening is the only key to remember things. So. That is why we are making only 100 one liners as one video and we are reading it little fast so that like you can read them I and mean, listen them repeatedly. Okay. So topical administration of 1% pilocarpin failed to produce constriction in patient who had a large dilated pupil causes pharmacological blockade. Lipogranulomatous inflammation is seen in chinazion. Parietal neovascularization is seen in myopia, angioid streak and trauma. Eridocorneal endothelial syndrome is associated with progressive atrophy of iris trauma. Pterygium is connective tissue degeneration. Chalazia no fluid is chronic lipogranulomatous inflammation. Cavernous hemangioma has retrobulbar location within the muscle cone. Well defined capsule. Slowly progressive proptosis easily receptable. Most common in second to fourth decade. I repeat it. Cavernous hemangioma features they are telling. It has retrobulbar location. And it is present within the muscle cone. It has well, de well defined capsule. It slowly progressive proptosis can be present. It is easily resectable and it occurs most commonly in second or fourth decades. Okay. 11 year old patient presents with left sided head tilt on, uh, correcting uh, that she, he has right sided hypertrophia. Again, I repeat a 11 year old patient presents with left sided head tilt on correcting that he has right sided hypertrophia the hypertrophia increases on left gaze and the tilting of the head towards the right muscle paralyzed is right superior oblique okay factor in factors involved in pathogenesis of macular edema in diabetic retinopathy or oxidative retinopathy uh, vascular endothelial growth factor and increased protein kinase c telecanthus is uh, increase in intercanthal distance with normal interpupillary distance Topical antifungal used in keratomycosis is natamycin. Retinitis pigmentosa is associated with Usher syndrome, Kohn's weak syndrome and Kian Chiare syndrome. Percentage of endothelial cell loss during uh, desmans membrane stripping 
in automated penetrating keratoplasty are 30 to 40 percent. A patient with clinically significant diabetes, diabetic macular edema with non-progressive diabetic retinopathy was treated with macular grid photocoagulation. The patient still has vitreomacular traction. Preferred treatment is pars plana vitrectomy. Drug of choice in a 50-year-old lady presenting with history of severe eye pain, redness, diminution of vision. On examination, visual acuity is 6 by 60. Circumcorneal congestion is seen, corneal edema is seen, shallow anterior chamber is uh, seen. So, what is the treatment? It is IV mannitol. That is a drug of choice. A female pa a patient presents with loss of vision in both eyes. On examination, normal pupillary responses, normal fundus and visually evoked response examination shows is extinguished response. What is the diagnosis? It is cortical blindness. Start frequent antibiotic eye drops after discontinuing the contact lens. Okay, so immediately after discontinuing the uh, contact uh, lens, you should um, anti uh, use the antibiotic drops. Okay, just ignore the above line, one liner, it seems insignificant. Cranial nerve lesion in a patient presenting with normal eyesight. Absence of direct and consensual light reflexes is oculomotor nerve. A patient presenting with unilateral proposis compressible and increasing on bending forward, but no thrill or bruise is present. MRI shows a retrobulbar uh, mass with enhancement. Diagnosis is orbital varix. Cause of patient hit on the eye by tennis ball with fundoscopy showing a red dot is Berlin's edema. Ocular dendritic cells have HLA2. A patient presented with unilateral proptosis, compressible and increasing on bending forward, but no thrill or bruise. And MRI shows a retroorbital mass with enhancement. Diagnosis is orbital varix. Appropriate management of a 3 year old child presenting with right convergent squint of 6 months duration is proper refractive correction, amblyopia therapy followed by surgical correction. So, a 30 year old immunocompetent farmer from rural community presents with difficulty in vision in the left eye for last 10 days and history of trauma to his left eye with a vegetative matter. Here the keyword is vegetative matter and farmer. So, 10 to 15 days back on examination ulcerative lesion is seen in the cornea whose base has raised soft creamy infiltrate, ulcer margin is feathery and hyphate and a few uh, satellite lesions etiology is physarium. Even a big clinical question will have one or two keywords. In fact, like you get the advantage of getting one or two or more keywords if there is a big question. So don't get afraid when you see big questions and just read them twice and you will get the answer easily. Drug contraindicated in patient with history of sulfa allergy presenting with acute attack of angle closure glaucoma is astrozolamide. The most common systemic association of scleritis is rheumatic, rheumatoid arthritis. Angered streaks in the eyes are seen in pseudoxanthoma elasticum. Old age patient presents with history of increasing pain and diminution of vision after an initial improvement. Coming to the eye emergency after 3 days of cataract surgery causes endophthalmitis. Uveitis is most commonly associated with Parsi articular juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Fluorescein angiography is used to identify lesion in iris, optic nerve and retina. Lens contains the oldest cells in nucleus. Recurrent chelazion is predisposed to develop adenocarcinoma of mebonian gland. I repeat, recurrent chelazion is predisposed to develop adenocarcinoma of the mebonian gland. Optic radiation lesion involving Mayer's loop causes superior quadrantomopia. Signs resulting from infection within the right cavernous sinus or loss of pupillary light reflex, ptosis and right ophthalmoplegia. Diagnosis of a 30 year old male patient presenting with a history of injury to the eye with a leaf 5 days ago and having pain, photophobia and redness of the eye. For 2 days is fungal corneal ulcer. Okay. Mostly a fungal corneal ulcer they have history of leaf or vegetative matter or something. A 60 years old man presents with watering from the left eye since 1 year. Syringing reveals patient drainage, sorry, patent uh, drainage system. So it is open, uh, not blocked. Rest of the ocular examination is normal. A provisional diagnosis of lacrimal pump failure was made. Confirmed by it is confirmed by uh, dacro uh, sentinography. Okay, so they asked about the diagnosis for confirmation. 
it is dacryos uh, dacryo scintigraphy. Most common mode of spread of retinoblastoma is optic nerve. A patient complains of diminished vision three weeks after IOL implantation and fundus fluorescent angiography. Flower petal hyperfluorescence of macular scene. Diagnosis is FAKIA. Next case, a patient presents with diplopia in one eye. On examination with oblique illumination, golden crescents. And on an axial examination, black and dark crescents are seen. So, diagnosis is ectopia lentis. Okay. So, you have to remember only in uh, axial examination, it is black dark crescents. And uh, oblique uh, illumination, it is golden crescents for ectopia lentis. A child presents with bilateral white pupillary reflex. On slit lamp examination, there is a zone of opacity around fetal nucleus with spokes of wheel like arrangement. So, this is lamellar cataract. This is the keyword spokes of wheel like arrangement towards the center. Drug used to treat, uh, treat diabetic macular edema, that is, diabetic retinopathy, are riboxy, starin, uh, pyridoxinones, and benfotiamine. The most common cause of bilateral proptosis in children is chloroma. The most common malignant orbital tumor in children is rhabdomyosarcoma. Optic nerve injury results in loss of vision in the eye, loss of light reflex and dilatation of pupil. Enucleation of eyeball is contraindicated in panophthalmitis. So this completes the 100 one-liners as a part of rapid revision series 1. Please read all the 19 subjects of series 1 and then go to series 2. So try to complete 5 series before Jan, uh, Jan 2021 or uh, next NEET exam because these videos will be continuously important because we have take, not taken from one or two years. We have just screened all the topics which were um, repeatedly asked from 10 years. They will not change in future also. Maybe the pattern changes but the concepts and the facts and cases and the one-liners and keywords are very important. So they are important for all the years. I am just telling like just uh, complete all the five series and just uh, remember um, to revise them frequently. Okay. Thank you and good luck.